All right, so today we are color corrector. My hands are so ashy. Um, and we have a natural regrowth here. It's pretty light. And then we have dark. This was like a, I think it was a one in actually. So we set ourselves up for a challenge today, but we're going to take care of trying to remove as much of the depth and then going as um, like coppery brown red as possible. And we want to maintain like the health of the curls while we do this because the hair is worn mostly curly. So, all right, let's get some lightener mixed up and we're gonna start lifting open air, um, probably 20 volume and just see what we can get out of it. And then we will work on corrective toning and depositing um, pigment for enhancement if we need. Let's do it. Yay. All right, so I am mixing up the lightener now. It is super important that you get the consistency that you need. Um, the runnier the lightener, the weaker the strength of lift. So more power equals more powder. <laughs> That's so corny. But seriously, yeah, the lift comes from the powder. The developer controls your speed. Remember that with lightener. And mix it up really well. And the more you whip it, the more it will swell because you're putting more air into it. So you kind of just want to like get in there and like, I don't know, what do they call that when you're baking? Fold it. So I'm going to start applying in the front and my goal is going to be to stay off of the root as much as possible so that I have less correction to do later. Um, so starting from literally like right here, like there and working my way out to the ends. All right, so here is the application method so far. It's actually lifting, which I'm super excited about, but just because we broke through level two doesn't mean that we're gonna get to level seven. Got plenty of lightener left. I'm working fast because your lightener loses power the more that it oxidizes, oxidates, I almost say it. Um, so you wanna work as quick as possible. So I gotta get back to work, bye. So I mixed up another bowl of lightener and I bumped my developer up one more level. So this is 30 to take care of this last section. So hopefully it'll process and keep up um, with what's going on up here. And look at this, this is pretty good. Um, I'm gonna have a little bit of darkness probably throughout the ends. The ends are more porous, so they tend to hold on to color um, and release color fast. Ends always give you trouble, but after a trim and some good toning, hopefully this won't be too much of a challenge. Um, if this continues to lag here, then I'm going to put a piece of foil on it, um, wipe it, apply fresh lightener, and a little foil, and then that'll help give us a little boost. Um, but we are getting good lift. I did overlap a little bit. You see we have a little blonde in the middle, but that's nothing that uh, we have to worry about. That will be adjusted during toning. So right now it's about processing and watching. And I applied this back last because um, there's less of the pigment there. It was actually pretty brown. Look at that. This is probably the most even section thus far. So, and if it doesn't lift completely even, I can't speak to that, then we'll just have some dimension. So, yep, curly hair is forgiving in that sense. So, I'm excited. Let's do it. Oh, look at this. Blonde. Hey. It's going to be like that pillow over there. <laughs> okay, so we have processed for about. 25 minutes and I like the lift that we're getting. It's going to allow me to do some things. Um, it's not 100% even, but I'm going to give it some more time. I'm actually probably going to put a processing cap on just to see if I get just a, like this much more lift, a teench, just a pinch. If I can get it all to about here, like a nice level six, seven. All right, so here's a little hack. This last quadrant was the last applied and I want it to catch up. I did bump up developer, but it's still not going quite as even as I would like. So I put a processing cap on, tuck it under the section and then just clip it up top and then we'll watch it boost itself up a little bit. We're going to incubate it, create heat so that we can get just a little bit more lift and then the rest of it will process at room temperature. I'm doing a lot of moving. It's this chair. <laughs> Going to the Put your hand behind yeah, wait, not on. Right? <laughs> so we'll put this on prior to our toning stuff. If you haven't used this yet, check it out. This is our root formula. So 
it's functioning as our base. It's also going to do a tiny bit of lifting. Um, it's a level, let's say like seven and a half. Um, there is brown in here, there's copper, and a slight touch of gold because I'm trying to match reflection and warmth that we already have on the ends. Our next formula is going to be demi permanent only, but I'm going to use a gel demi. That's like the new trend in demi permanent hair color. Um, very glossy, um, no ammonia, leaves the hair feeling good, but slightly more opaque in coverage because we're doing some correction. Um, you could even use a permanent color in this situation, but go very low on your developer. Now, this 7CR is more R than C to me. I've used it before and it was like a red copper. Um, I think it's very warm. So the NT in there is really gonna balance everything out. So it's not too warm because remember, we have our warmth already. All right, peace. Why do I say peace like we're done? <laughs> Every time, <laughs> peace. If you do use coppers, they oxidize kind of like purpley, which is so strange. Um, so we're gonna let that process and then the demi permanent is gonna go on all this brightness to kind of balance everything out. So here is, oh, oh, sorry. our model is running away. <laughs> um, what we're looking like, so look at that. We've got depth, focus real good. There we go, depth at the root. And then we transition to boom. This is going to be fantastic fire, if you will. So get ready for the finished result. I am going to let this process full time because I want this to be the most solid opaque coverage that I could possibly get out of a demi permanent. And then it will become time to work with these curls. Stay tuned. All right, what am I supposed to say? Okay, bye. Okay, peace. <laughs> so I moved the demi formula on top of the root formula, just to make sure that warmth is like throughout the entire project that we're working on. You're not a project, I'm saying you're here. <laughs> <laughs> this time I'm gonna use the moisturizing shampoo and hydrating conditioner so that those curls can pop and then we'll go in with our stylers, which today I'm gonna to use the gel and the styling mousse with frizz control. So we just got done finger coiling the entire head. It took about 10 minutes. So we can use a hooded dryer or a diffuser at this point to kind of draw the curls up a bit and dry them. If you're working with any style, as you're doing a twist out or a set on, you have to let it dry fully. If you don't let it dry fully, it will be frizzy. I'm taking all of these products home because I need a new set for my shower. Thank you for being such a wonderful model today. Yeah, no problem. Look at that. Ah, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> Color. Um, any way. light is good. What'd you say? Okay. Oh, wherever. It doesn't need to be sunny. Going. Oh, there's a Chipotle right over there. Yeah. Now turn that way for me. Oh, look at that. And keep turning. Woo! Oh. 